It's week 56 of Zerg, so we're going to show you guys his location, the items he sells, and give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 56 of Zerg, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for the month of November, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, Zer is located on IO, and he is by the Giant Scar, so let's go find out what he has this week. Zer, What's up, dude? Like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. The weapon of the week is the Skyburner's Oath, which is an exotic scout rifle. Then we have Young Ahamkara Spine for the Hunter, Skullodaya Ahamkara for the Warlock, as well as Helm of Saint-14 for the Titan. We're going to go ahead and start with Young Ahamkara Spine. Intrinsic perk on this is Dragon Wish Teeth, which ability damage grants enhanced trip mines. This is an okay exotic, not top tier, so I'm probably going to give this a tier... Uh, 2.5 to tier point, uh, to tier 3, sorry, in PvE as well as PvP. Then we have the Skull of Daya Ahamkara, and Trenton perk on this is Actual Grandeur, which Nova Bomb kills Grant Super Energy. This is deep, pretty good in PvE and PvP, so it's going to go ahead and get a tier 2 in both. And last but not least, we have your Helmasane 14. Trenton perk on this is Starless Knight. Which Word of Dawn blinds enemies and grants overshield guarding uh, blinds. And this is definitely a good exotic for your bubble if you plan on using the bubble. And sometimes it's needed, sometimes it's not. It all depends. Definitely good in control. So it definitely will get a tier 2 in PvP and probably tier 1.5 in PvE because it definitely is still good in PvE because ads are dumb and they just jump inside your uh, bubble. So, real quick, Young Ahamkara Spine does have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Shotgun Scavenger, as well as Heavy Ammo Finder. Uh, Skull of Dai Ahamkara has uh, Bow Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, Hands On, uh, Shotgun Reserves, Heavy Ammo Finder, and then the Hemel Saint 14 has Bow Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, uh, Hands On, Shotgun Reserves, as well as Heavy Ammo Finder. Now, Weapon of the Week, Skyburner's Oath, decent, good in PvE, not so good in PvP, probably going to give it a tier 2 in PvE, but definitely a tier 3 to 3.5 in PvP. Go ahead and pick up the Five of Swords from your consumables if you do not already have one, as well as go ahead and get your Faded Engram. Mind you, this still does not give you Forsaken Exotics. So if you want an updated exotic of year 2 or before, uh, I'm sorry, season three or before, then go ahead and grab this. If not, then don't bother wasting your 97 um, legendary shards on it. And also, if you want an updated one of these exotics, go ahead and buy these first before buying the Faded Engram. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.